Hey folks, welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today, I'm going to talk about Shiba Inu and talk about the flash spike. We've talked about flash crashes dealing with Shiba Inu. We've talked about flash crashes with Bitcoin, Ethereum. And so over the last year, you know, we've been discussing, you know, different pricing points for Shiba Inu. And the most famous one is Maria Conwell's. It will reach $1 and then $13. Right, and then we have some other people who are having dreams and visions of pricing points in between and and above thirteen dollars. And there's all this information that's been coming out over the last couple of days. And then you know it's making me think about some of the other videos that I've watched in the past. Uh, people have had dreams and visions about Shiba Inu spiking to thirteen cents, a uh, dollar, five dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, eleven dollars. And you have to remember. Uh, Originally, Maria Conwell and Rosalind Solomon talking about the different spikes and the different things and the different run-ups that, are, that have been uh, happening and trying to put all these pieces together, right? And, it, and I'm coming to realize that maybe there is a flash spike, you know, because we have some newer people that are having dreams and visions about a flash spike. And then I'm going, I'm going back to, to all the people that we've been listening to and I'm starting to put these pieces together. It might be very well that we have a flash crash. Right? And then a flash spike. We've been putting in our low Shiba Inu orders just like we do for our Bitcoin orders. And maybe something happens where there's a, a dramatic drop with Shiba Inu and in the, in the whole entire crypto industry. And then it's going to shoot back up and maybe it'll go through all those some of those different pricing points that we have been talking about all the way up to potentially 11 dollars. Now, this is why I say this is probably going to change the way that you are placing your Shiba Inu sell limit orders. All right, now I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only sharing information, giving you my thoughts and my opinions, trying to connect the dots. This is something that you have to ponder and pray about, but this is a very possibility that this could happen. Now I'm gonna play a couple videos, but I want you guys to remember when it comes to dreams and visions, when things are moving quickly, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to move quickly. Now it's not to say that God is not gonna move quickly. In some of these videos that I've been listening to, that the, it's going to come quickly. The Shiba Inu spike is going to come quickly. The wealth transfer is going to come quickly. I talked about the guy who had the prophecies, the 24th and the 25th. And I told you guys, you know what? I'm just waiting till the end of the month because a lot of people are saying a lot of things for the end of September. But I'm doing this because I think that you guys are probably going to end up having to change some of your sell limit orders for Shiba Inu. All right, and a flash crash could very well be, you know, it could be seconds. It could go from where it's at right now and just shoot all the way up to 11 or $8 and then come back down, right? It could happen over a few minutes. It can happen over an hour or a day or even a couple days or, or even a week. It would be awesome if it would flash spike up to $8, but then it would take its time in coming down. That would give everybody an opportunity to sell off. But we don't know exactly how this is going to work. This is why we've been trying to put all these pieces together. So I am going to go over just a little bit about pricing points for Shiba Inu. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of each of the videos. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to discuss it and then go over the pricing points. Okay, this first one is Christinos, Servant of God. She's relatively newer to the wealth transfer and you know what, folks, I have not gone back through and looked at all of her past prophecies. I've actually been subscribed to her for a long period of time, but most of her prophecies dealt with other things. Uh, and I'm, I don't really do like a lot of prophecies on politics. I'm just waiting for God to make those changes and wait, waiting for certain things to happen. Now, this is the dream where she saw the spike to $11. I just woke up. I just woke up and this is... Um... I have to share this now. So I had a dream. And in the dream, um, Sheba in you, it went to $11. It went to $11. I knew that it was September 24th in the morning, which is right now. And I knew it was around 7 or like 7 or 8 o'clock-ish. I'm in New York, that's 20 minutes from now. It went to $11, guys. I seen the two high spikes again. And then it went from $11, and then I think it went to $9, and then I think it went to $7. And then I looked on the TV, 
and something was happening in the news. And I knew that everything was starting. I don't know if it was a storm or some type of a weather event, but I knew that everything was starting now. And it, the time of the dream, it was this morning. So that's why I'm not staying. I'm only telling, going on this live to tell you guys this because I'm going to be looking at my Coinbase. <laughs> because um, I knew that, like I was saying in the dream to myself, I'm like, hmm, everybody who was partying Friday night, they're not going to catch us because they're going to be sleeping right now. Anytime that you have a dream or a vision and, you know, hers was like the same day, like it was supposed to happen this day. Now, a lot of times when people have dreams and visions, when God gives you a vision like that, that is something that you need to move on right then and there. Like if she had not purchased, she, you know, if she had not put in her cell limit orders and all that stuff, you know, that was an urgency to that particular dream. But she said that it spiked up to $11 and then came back down went to nine and then seven. All right. So when you're placing your cell limit orders for Shiba Inu, it's going to spike all the way through up. But, you know, we don't know how fast this is really truly going to be. It could be slower. It could be faster. So when you're determining, you know, where you're putting your cell limit orders, you know, for me, I'm more focused on the latter part from a dollar to $11. And I do have orders from one cents, you know, all the way up to a dollar too as well. If for any reason it flash crashes and, none, and maybe various orders go through, but not all of them. But I have enough orders to where it should trigger a bunch of sell orders on the way up and trigger a bunch of sell orders on the way down. All right. Now, this is another one. This is Emmanuel, right? And he's relatively newer to the wealth transfer community. And he what he saw was it flash up to $8. And so we'll go ahead and listen to this to do something for some of you today so um wait till the end of the video anyway let's get into it eight dollar shiba i called it all right eight dollar shiba it was that simple that's what god showed me all right so it was similar to the three dollar and one cent dream that he showed me but that dream was a split second it was so fast if you haven't seen it go go see it but it was so fast right it was in a blink like a blink like boom boom right right there like in the midst of waking up like he gave me that like that nugget right but this one is a little more right this one i was sitting by a chart i have it written here i was sitting by a chart once again and I was watching Sheba at the small fraction of cents, right? So we're looking at the chart the way, you know, how the chart shows. And it was at the fraction of cents. But I, I noticed in the dream, the fractions of cent, like more of the zeros were, you know, overtaken. So Sheba was, you know, it was it was growing more. More of the cents were already right. The zeros were already gone. Almost all of them. So I think it was about to hit a cent or I think it was 11 cents or something. The first numbers I saw was one, one. So I'm not sure. The point is that I'm sitting there on the computer like I am now. And I'm looking at the, you know, at the uh, Shiba chart in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. I saw the number update from what I just was seeing to just a little few cents to eight dollars in a blink of an eye, like literally in a blink of an eye, it just kind of like the numbers were 0 0.0011, whatever. And then all of a sudden, it just goes eight. <laughs> it just goes eight. All right. I refresh the page because I'm like, whoa, if it's eight dollars, my sell orders must have sold. Right. My, 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 everything must have went through. OK. All right. So I'm like, let me refresh also to make sure. That what I'm seeing is real. Did this really hit eight dollars? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so I refreshed the page. It's still there. Eight dollars. It still says eight dollars. And in the dream, my buy and sell limits felt like it didn't go through because that's how fast it hit eight. It's like it skipped every other number and hit eight. That's how fast it went. Now, I'm not telling you that's how it's going to go in the dream. I don't feel like the inter this is my interpretation. Pray about it. Listen, y'all, pray about this, okay? Pray about everything anybody tell you. But uh, um, my interpretation is that it's just going to go fast. So in the dream, I go and check them, feeling as if they didn't go through. 
In the dream, I felt the Lord speak to me and say, don't worry about your sell limit orders. Why? Because when I looked at the sell limit orders and refreshed and tried to see my money, there was none. Okay. There was none. And, um, the, the sell limits were still there, a zero percent filled. And that's how fast it went. But I started to almost worry. I, 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 and in the dream, like I didn't want to worry. I said, I said, it, oh, it's fine, you know. And right there, before I could even step into any like heavy worrying, the Lord in the dream told me, don't worry about your sell, lim sell limit orders. Like they will go through, don't worry. But for some reason, he wanted me to focus on buy and sell limits in the dream. When I refreshed and there was nothing, it's because he was leading me to go look at my buy and sell limit orders because he wanted me to focus on that, all right? It's not that um, they're not gonna go through, okay? So I don't want you to think that this dream is me telling y'all, hey, it don't matter if you put sell limits, buy limits, it's not gonna go through. It's just a God wanted me to really focus on that in the dream. And the, the only way he was gonna lead me to that is if clearly I refreshed and saw, hold on, where, why didn't it go through? Let me go check my what? Buy and sell limit orders, all right? Right now, I feel like to let his people know to please set your buy and sell limit orders, okay? I know I'm not the only one doing these videos, okay? I'm not trying to be another one. I'm doing this because the Lord has put it in my heart to do it. I told you guys that I'm not making any more of these videos. So the only reason I am here is literally because I prayed and I feel led. God gave me the choice, actually. I don't feel pressured. God gave me the choice. He said, listen, you can make the video and help my people or you also have a choice not to. Like, I'm not going to you know, God is not going to punish me whether I choose to or not, um, because I need to genuinely want to help you guys. Please set your buy and sell limit orders. A lot of you guys are missing the mark on there. You are taking your sweet time. You think this is going to take years. You think this is going to happen next year, two years from three years. I feel in my spirit, it is so close. And the only reason it hasn't happened already is by the grace of God. Listen to me. I feel like it would have happened already in the last few days, but I feel God is being gracious towards the slow. Okay. And that's okay to say. That's okay to say, because the Bible says that there are weak-minded people, weaker in, in, in the spirit, in the body people, and the strong mentally, and the strong, you know, should help those people. I'm not telling you guys to learn how to day trade. I'm not telling you guys to, you have to sit here and learn the history of crypto. I'm telling you to understand what you need to understand in order to receive your wealth transfer, Um, you know, money-wise, okay? Because the wealth transfer is more than just money, but... um. This will be confirmation to many right now, this video, but the Lord then tells me it's going to go down steadily. I'm not saying from $8, but from its high point. So he showed me a peak, right? He showed me a hill, right? And um, steadily, it will go down steadily, steadily. All right. And in the dream, it even stood at that peak for a little bit. It didn't, it didn't like shoot up and in one second shoot down. So, you know, um, God is making this very convenient to his people. I want you to know that right now. God is a good God, yo. He is a good God. Our God is so good. And um, he's not going to boom, boom in a second, right? Some of you are going to see it. You know, some of you are going to be awake, maybe in the middle of the night, maybe in the day, maybe in the morning. Who knows? Some of you are going to be awake to see it. It's not going to happen in a, you know, it's going to go up and, and down in one second, right? And it's over. Okay, so let's go over a few things here. All right, he said that Shiba Inu was already growing. All right, now let's go over a few things here. I was very encouraged by this video. There's a lot of energy. And, you know, that was kind of like how I started off when I first got into the dinar. In this, he said that it, it was already growing, right? Shiba Inu was, right? And then, boom, it took off to $8, right? Within a heartbeat, it went from... The fractions of the fraction of a cent to eight dollars, right? And it, according to what he's saying, it looked like it kind of stayed at the peak for a little bit, and then eventually started to come back down. So you guys need to be aware of that, right? And this is also too how you place your sell limit orders. You know, I don't know how all this is going to play out, so I have mine set up all the way up through eleven dollars, right? Hopefully, some of the ones that will kick off at eleven. If they don't. 
right? And Shiba Inu is at $8, and I'm able to go in and sell off what orders didn't kick off. I can go ahead and sell them at that point. And what he was saying, with God is gracious, he's just not going to allow it to go up and then immediately come back down. He was talking about how it should have happened. And, you know, that's the point. And it's very interesting that in the last month, God has poured out his spirit and a lot of people have been having dreams and visions. And one of the things that I keep going back to, and that's why I had been pushing and pushing and pushing, but as the wealth transfer community, it wasn't enough. And that was to tell my people it will reach $1 and then $13. And that's what Maria Conwell was saying. And, you know, a lot of people were ignoring that. A lot of people were trying to keep every dream and vision to themselves within, within the people of the wealth transfer. And that's not what God wanted. God wanted this word to get out, and people were trying to contain it. People that are involved in the wealth transfer. And if anybody is out there who's trying to say, we need to keep this secret or that secret, those are the kind of people that is very selfish because God intended on people hearing the prophetic word that it will reach $1 and then $13. Right? You have to remember, even when the Hebrews left Egypt, Egyptians came with them because they saw the glory of God. And so for those of you who are encouraging secrecy, that is going to backfire on you because you have went against what God was tr has been trying to do. Does it matter if the world hears it? You know, people act like the elite don't see everything that we do. Does it matter if you're on, whether it's on YouTube or on a private site or on Discord, they're going to know everything anyway. Uh, really quick, just listen to what I, I can't really say her name, but her last name is Garcia. Uh, very quick dream, but I want you guys to hear this. One, I wanted to come over here because I want to share the crypto dream that God revealed to me. Um, God gave me a dream on August 25th, which was last Thursday, about crypto. Um, crypto has been something that I've been doing, more like spirit-led. So in this dream, I remember that it was a sudden wealth transfer. So when I woke up in the morning that I looked at my crypto, my crypto was giving me $12 million. When I looked at this $12 million, I took this money out of my account. And as soon as I took this money out of my account, the markets completely started crashing and started going crazy. So really quick, she said this was going to happen suddenly. And the next thing that she did was she took her money out. So people need to think about that. And it, that also too depends on your platform and where you live. Remember, uh, Kingdom War had a dream about a lot of the Asian exchanges not doing so well with this. All right, so if you're not with one of the main exchanges and you have some offshoot exchanges that are in the Asia area, uh, just be very, very careful, right? So this is not just for people here in the United States, but this is for the whole entire wealth transfer community. So if you live in Thailand, Right, you might want to see if they have a Coinbase, if they have FTX, or if they have Kraken or KuCoin before you go off onto any of these smaller exchanges. So, and some people may want to transfer uh, cryptocurrency onto a ledger. She said that as soon as she took her money out, everything crashed. All right, so everybody needs to try to do the same thing, right? Because if if, you, if we do have a flash spike and some of your orders kick in, whether it's a dollar or five dollars or eight dollars or eleven dollars, right? You're going to want to try to transfer those funds to your bank account as soon as you can, right? And, you know, some people ask me, well, what about putting it into a stable coin and then putting it onto a, onto a nano ledger? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not going to be putting any stable coin on a ledger, right? That's just me, right? God might be telling you something different. Some of the platforms that I work with only have USD. They, they don't have USDT and they don't have USDC. So guess what? That money is going to be going to the bank or for reinvesting or uh, to buy more Shiba Inu and put it on a Nano X, right? Also, too, buying other cryptocurrencies like XLM, XRP, Luna. It all depends on where some of these other cryptocurrencies are at. I'll be investing in some of the other prophetic coins that I believe that Elon Musk you know, started in Vitalik Buterin. So she said that it was sudden. So I can go back and really kind of look at all these other people's dreams and visions, you know, for the people that we've been watching for the last year and be like, wait a minute, there's going to be a flash crash and then a flash spike. 
interesting, right? But it all remains to be seen. Right now, I'm not going to play the entire video, but you can go to Johnny Currency 365, and he says here, Shiba Inu dream, short squeeze, then normal run up. He was reading a dream, and basically this was a result of a short squeeze. All right, so a short squeeze, basically, you need to look it up to look up the definition. Uh, but that's how a lot of people lose their wealth is through a short squeeze. And I want to bring this up because people talk about a wealth transfer. And, and, and personally, this is not a one-time event. There are multiple flash crashes. And it's going to take a lot more than one flash crash to take all the wealth. You're not going to take all the wealth from BlackRock. Right. Most people hear about BlackRock, but there are others that or other areas of the stock market that is $10 trillion and above. So this is also could be that confirmation that Johnny was talking about. And not only that, it, once again, going over your Shiba Inu limit orders, because I may not have as many orders from one cents to 10 cents. Right. So I changed some things around. Right? Hopefully that, you know, some of the ones in the upper above a dollar kick off. That's what God is showing some of these people. Okay. But I do want to play this. What Johnny Currency 365, his link will be down below in the description. But listen to what he says here about what he saw. So, um, and I've seen it as well, right? I saw $1. I saw seven. I saw $1 and then I saw $7, but I also saw 44 cents and then I saw four cents and I even, you know what I mean? So, so, and I saw one cent. So don't even, don't trust what I saw because I've seen too many, I've had too many dreams of Shiba Inu and I've seen all types of different prices, but I was celebrating in all of them. So it, it basically God's showing us that it doesn't it, it's going to go up so much we're all going to be celebrating so at some point they cannot you know they're shorting it right now there's heavily shorted uh on they're, they're heavily shorting Shiba on the way down so the, you know and then they're going to and then they're going to cover their positions and then they're going to go long right at some point right um cuz you can't short forever and you, you can't go long forever and so things do change right so Johnny's had multiple dreams and visions about all these different pricing points Right. And maybe this is what he's seeing. He's seeing, you know, this uh, flash spike. Right. And he's also talking about the shorts, too, as well. And that's why I believe that when you especially like when we go and look at these different pricing points. And I was trying to tell you guys that I believe that a 10 cent marker is a huge marker in, in a selling point if things were to go up normally. Right. And I don't know how all this is going to play out because we're assuming that this is going to take time to go to go up. And now we're getting that it's not going to be as much time. And so look, uh, remember Q, Love is God, in his video, he saw two major spikes, right? We also have some spikes, some other people with, with spikes. Uh, Maria Conwell with the two waves, right? And this tweet right here, had a dream sheep hit 10 cents and then three hours later after massive sell-off, the price jumps to 20 cents. Okay, so when he talks about the shorts, so say for instance... The price hits 10 cents, right? Everybody's selling off, right? Including the whales, right? And say, let's say it goes down below a penny, right? And then we all pour our money back in, right? And they've already taken out their short positions. Well, what's going to happen with all of us, with our, with and each and every individual who has, should have millions of dollars at that point, depending on how things flow, we would all pour back in and guess what? All those shorts are going to have to cover. And that's why you can see the massive spike to 20 cents. All right. So this is what I have done. Right. And, you know, I have a lot of Shiba Inu to work with. And so I have did different things at different pricing points. You have to take a look at all the different pricing points and figure out exactly what uh, you are going to do. All right. So here on the left hand side, uh, here's some of the different people that have been talking about the Shiba Inu for a very long time. I know a lot of people just now hearing about Shiba Inu over the last month, but this is actually something that we have been discussing for the last year, right? And some people in the wealth transfer community even longer. Uh, and, and so I've been adding different people, some of the dreams and visions that I find most important. So what I'm getting ready to share with you here is all the different pricing points dealing with Shiba Inu, right? All the different dreams and visions people have had or spoken words. 
And so I have it listed down here and, and you, this will be down below in the description and you can copy and paste this into your own document. This is for you to guys to be able to plan how you're going to do this. Uh, these are all the different pricing points. I recently added some new ones just because of some of the newer people. But what I've done was uh, here on the right hand side, it's the amount of money per million sheep that you sell it for, right? So you can kind of gauge yourself. Uh, as far as the lower pricing points, because once you start getting in the upper ones, you pretty much know. I mean, you know, at five dollars, a million is going to be five million dollars. And then because not everybody's working with millions upon millions of Shiba Inu, some people may only have five or six or ten million. And then it's the amount of money per one hundred thousand at each of these different pricing points. Now, if now whether it's a short squeeze or whether it's a flash crash and then a flash spike, either way. You guys need to look at where you truly want to put your pricing points. If you have ten mil, if you just have ten million sheep, you know you're going to try to spread that out uh, between one dollar and eleven dollars. You know, but you're but also at the same time your lower ones like well heck if it goes up that much, I don't want to put a lot in the lower bracket. And I did put a little bit more at the ten cent drop just for for the simple fact that. Uh, 10 cents is supposed to be a big deal, but that could that could come after we reach eight dollars and then everything kind of goes back to the same price. Now remember Q, right? And his his video is up here on the top left, and he said that the price had came down right back to where he bought it from. Alright, so it could spike up and hit eight dollars, eleven dollars, and come back down right to where he bought it from. So we would smash through all these pricing points and then come all the way back down wouldn't that be amazing so your orders will be kicking off on the way up and your orders kicking off on the way back now this is my own document here that i did this is just for myself i just copied and i pasted it here and these are things that you guys need to think about when you're placing your orders the first thing that you need to make sure is that you set enough money aside for taxes Right. If you have $10 million because you sold off $10 million worth of Shiba Inu, if you don't have a tax plan and you don't plan on doing anything to try to defer some of those taxes, be ready to pay 50%. Be ready to pay $5 million out of that $10 million. So all the plans that you had about giving and giving money away and all this stuff and, and, and blessing all these different people and organizations, it's not the money you're going to overpromise. Build your wealth. Right, and the most important thing is you don't want them coming after you for taxes because you sold off ten million dollars worth of Shiba Inu, and then now you thought you were going to have a lot more, but because of the taxes, and then now you you given all this money away and you don't have anything for taxes. Right, now you got to think about your plan and your bills, your debt, you know, your vehicle, your living arrangements. Right, some of you are live in the city and you live in an apartment. And now you need to get out and move, or maybe move to a safer place or to a safer city or uh, buy a home. You know, because one of the things that we have discussed is your storehouse. Okay, because there are multiple prophecies about a food shortage that is coming. See, a lot of people are not thinking about this. You're just thinking about the money with Shiba Inu. And there's so many other things. And maybe I'll get into that and I'll post that the link down below and kind of remind folks of this food shortage and the storehouse that you need to be building this for yourself and for your family and for your loved ones and eventually be a storehouse for other people that live in your city. Right now for me, uh, also too, I'm thinking about my ministry and my business plans and mine are kind of meshed together. And what God is having me do as far as ministry wise you know, is connected to my business because I deal with animation. I'm taking stories out of the Bible. In order for me to do this, if I go to a company to produce it, it's going to cost anywhere me for one season of one of my projects is going to cost anywhere from five to eight million dollars. Well, I actually plan on starting my own animation studio. So with that, you know, these are all the different things I'm thinking about as I am putting these orders in, hoping that this flash crash does happen. This flash crash and spike happens and I'm able to start doing these things right away. But very well, I think in the next three years, you know, we'll be cashing out millions of Shiba Inu at 13 20 and $30. So really, you guys have to think about what you really want to do as far as your orders go over them. Q 
keep track of what you're doing, okay? So hopefully that uh, with this that I've helped some of you guys uh, think about some of the things that as far as placing your orders and making sure that you guys are preparing yourself for taxes and bills and you know don't just don't think you can give a whole bunch of money away. Remember, folks, uh, when we had that conference call dealing with taxes, I mean, once you start giving money to people, you're going to be putting them in a whole higher tax bracket. And they may not have that money to pay for those taxes at the around tax time. And you want to make sure that you're only gifting people every year a certain amount so that they are not burdened with taxes and neither are you on the tax on the taxes of the money that you're giving to them. Nobody wants to be taxed on both sides. You can't give somebody who might be like on Medicare, Medicaid, and, the, and they maybe they have uh, SNAP benefits or you know some type of financial aid, food stamps or whatever. If you give them twenty thousand dollars, they they might get all of that canceled, right? So you have to be very careful about how you give the money. I heard a YouTuber a couple weeks ago talking about how they could be a blessing to all these different people and all this stuff and. Got to be careful in how you do that. You can't just go and just start writing checks out to people, to family members and stuff like that. There's, there's, there's a lot of downside to coming into wealth. And one other thing that I do want to bring up when it comes to these sell and buy limit orders, and people have talked about these prophecies dealing with the high frequency trading. It's not even prophecies because we've been knowing in the stock market that hedge funds use high frequency trading. And there's always that possibility and has happened in the past where it could cause the stock to crash. Right. And the, you know, all these things, the algorithms and all this stuff. And I've heard multiple prophecies from different people. And I've also heard predictions from, you know, out of in news articles dealing with high frequency trading and alg algorithmic trading and all this stuff. So maybe with us putting in all of our orders in at all these different prices, hey, we got some on the on we got Shiba Inu, you know, you know with what six or seven zeros that we're putting in low limit orders for, and then we're turning around and putting in high sell limit orders for Shiba Inu. Who knows? With all these people doing this, it might screw up the AI system, and that's why God has given us instructions and has been for the last year about setting up sell and buy limit orders. So. Is, I'm not sure if what is going to happen with Shibu Inu is connected, and I think it is. I think it's going to be connected with Bitcoin, the Bitcoin crash. I believe it's going to be with Ethereum crash and all the different crashes that people have seen, you know, dealing with the top cryptocurrencies. So that is all that I have for today, folks. I didn't want to go off this long, but apparently I have. So uh, make sure you guys have your orders in and get yourself together. Make sure you have your plan together. And, you know, people are going to be scrambling today. I'm telling you, God is delaying things because I think that we should have already been at this point with Shiba Inu, but we did not spread it enough among the people. I think that was one of the things that the wealth transfer community failed is that we didn't spread the word about what God wanted to do with Shiba Inu. And that's why it's, that's one of the reasons why it's taken so long. So just make sure you guys put yourself in the position. I know there's going to be a lot of people trying to scramble here at the last second. Uh, some of you, whether you've been following this channel for a year, six months, or even several months, take your time, you know, but don't leave yourself in this position where you're not doing these things. So I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.